year is all about setting new goals it's all about making new plans and this year kind of came a little bit late for me wow it's april already so planning and following through with your plans have been an issue for you let me be your coach let me be your teacher for today because last year i was able to break a record by setting strategic plans here it is when you're trying to set your goals when you're trying to make plans you must know why you're trying to make those plans why do you need to reach those goals number two you have to know how to reach those goals number three you have to have an aim like you have you have already thought about how you are going to do it you understand but you have to know the aim of doing it and then the last one you must have a time frame yeah it's all about the timing you get what i mean i mean those plans that you are setting now you can absolutely achieve them in five years time you guys but because you want to make those plans this year to reach them this year that is why i have to have a time frame probably this month i must have achieved this next month i must have done this something like that i'm about to do something a bit hard that will take a little bit of my energy so i'm going to take water first okay now apart from apart from saving up and, and trying to make money what are the things that i wish to work on this year so that was the question that i asked myself so you can also ask yourself this kind of question like what are the things that you really want to do this year you get me so yeah i decided to let uh, my passion be number one and that is my youtube channel number one youtube channel and then two obviously saving money so yeah saving money um is okay making friends making friends making friends and keeping friends so number four reading books reading books and then number five spiritual journey spiritual growth okay let's just say spiritual growth so those are the five things ah wow you can't see it i guess the light is too much so those are the five things that i really want to work on this year so whenever i want to make my goals i love to think about how and why i want to do these things you get me before you can make plans on how to reach these goals you have to know why you want to reach these goals because no matter how you plan if you don't have a good reason to walk towards those dreams you might just lose your motivation you know probably a month you decide that i'm going to do something and that month you're unable to reach it you know because there is no reason for you to actually reach those goals you might actually just abandon it but if you are able to like make plans know why you want to like reach those goals why you are making those plans then definitely you will just have a reason to chase those dreams those goals if you get me okay so now i'm just going to tie to the next one why so i'll pick everything one after the other number one youtube channel so i'm just going to put hi that is my passion and then i want to make a career out of it okay so number two saving money why do i love saving money because number one i i love to fall back on something to have something to fall back on number two when i don't have money i feel depressed and i lose motivation so because i want to prevent frustration and depression so yeah i have to save up to prevent frustration and depression and fifth one wow i skipped i skipped um the third one by mistake i mean the fourth one i went to the fifth one instead of the fourth one so i'm just going to remember that okay so the first one that i mistakenly skipped was reading books i want to read books you know last year i still tried to read some books even though i felt like it wasn't enough so this year i want to try to work more on reading books because this year i don't think i've really read anything the books that i tried to read this year i didn't finish any of them so i'm just going to first of all finish all of them and then like start new books yeah so why do i want to read books i don't really know honestly i don't really know but i feel like there are some books that are motivating i love to read books on self-development there was this book that i came across two years ago and it was about going to school or not going to school and stuff like that and it was talking about business oh my god that book always been like two years i read it but the way i think kind of changed after i read that book and i feel like it kind of grew me to 
a stage you understand what i mean so yeah i love to read books on personal development and that is what i really want to do this year because i want to learn through books so yeah okay that is number six now okay so it was just number five that i listed before but then i remembered something when i was trying to list these things out so i wrote down fem femininity i don't know how that is pronounced but uh although yes if you see me you know i'm a lady because of course you can see my hair you can see my earring but yeah i want to i've, I've started working on it anyways but i really want to work on it more because i believe that most of the time i don't I, I'm not just so feminine, you understand? So I really want to work on that. For example, I don't like carrying bags. I can remember I was it like day for yesterday. My sister asked me to help her get some drugs at the hospital. She gave me her purse to hold that. All these things you are holding, put it in the purse. You know, I was like, no, I'm not going to hold the purse. You know, and I removed, I now removed everything that I had to take from the purse, and I was putting it in my pocket. You understand? It's not so feminine. I, I also remember there was a time that I, I wanted to leave the house, but then my hair was really rough because I didn't make my hair. So I, I was like, okay, let me just put the wig on and then when i was done putting the wig on i was just like oh my god i look so girly you understand i was and, and after thinking about that i was not thinking like for the love of god tie your girl that's all i mean so yeah i want to work on that you know putting i've been trying to wear my earring these days but it's not something that i used to do so yeah i want to work on my femini femininity femininity i don't know how to pronounce i don't know how to pronounce but yeah i want to work on that i want to be more girly why do i want to be girly let me just write it's just something i really wish to work on now so we are done with the why we are done with the reason like we want to do those stuff now we are going to the how you know i have this friend that loves to make so many plans you know his plans are always very good sincerely his plans are always so like amazing but then he does not like taking actions but i feel like um planning is all about the action you understand there are a lot of people that do all this talk talk you get but if you cannot like uh take a step and then another step and then walk you understand and then start to make these arrangements into uh what's it called reality then it's all trash you know it's all talk 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 you just wasted your energy on thinking and on talking so that's definitely what not what we want to do so now we are going to be working on the how or how we are going to make these things uh into realization but one thing i want to say first is that although it is good to dream big aim high reach for the stars and everything like that but i don't want you to make plans or miracles you get me now if there is going to be like a miracle that you did not plan for you get what i mean then let the miracle just be a plus you get what i mean but your plans should also like uh, should have gotten you somewhere don't plan for things that uh you know that you might not be able to reach that are too big for you you will just end up getting frustrated for example you know that every month now it's 30k that you make every month you are going to buy food you are going to do this you are going to do that you are now planning that by the end of the year you are going to get a bench by the grace of god you know i don't want you to work only by the grace of god if the grace of god works for you fine it's just going to be an addition but when you are writing the how make realistic ones you understand what i mean now okay so let me just go straight into my home so number one youtube channel how so the first thing i'm going to do to work on my channel this sounds so crazy but that is what i'm going to do i'm going to spam people's inboxes inboxes yeah and then number two i'm going to stop sending broadcasts this is something that i really wish to stop doing because i feel like i have disturbed so many people's inboxes their sense that some people have blocked me some people whenever they see my message they always like abuse me so i'm going to stop sending broadcast messages or whatsapp number three i am going to do youtube adverts i am going to work on my thumbnail Then I am going to work on my editing. I'm going to put in. Okay, now I think I'm done with the YouTube channel. That is all I think I can do this year. Okay, so let's just go to the next one. Number two, saving money. Yeah, so that is that is just all. That is all. Okay, so now I've written the hymn. Now I was talking about time frame. I was talking about time frame. So now the time frame for getting these 30k subscribers. I'm just going to write it down. Time frame. 
number one i'm starting with the youtube channel again i'm just going to write yc so i'm talking about 3k subscribers for this year how many months do we have left January, very much april let's say four months is gone and in a year we have 12 months so definitely we have like eight months left so eight months i'm going to divide Okay, I already have like 500 and something subscribers at the moment. So let's just minus 500 and something from this 3,000. Let's say 500. 3,500. So that's like 2,005. So in 8 months, 2,5 divided by 8. Let, let's do that. So every month, every month, I must be getting 300 and something subscribers oh my god i'm so scared okay saying this out loud is so scary for me because i don't think i've ever gotten up to 300 and something subscriber in a month before but definitely i am going to be putting in more effort i mean as soon as on strike so i have so much time so definitely i'm going to be working on spamming people and doing load of stuff okay so let's just say every month one month i must have one and 13 subscribers okay this saving money i'm going to divide it down later after the video and then at least five friends i talked about so since we still have like eight months to go so let's just say that everyone every one and a half months i must have made a good friend okay so that's going to be every every 45 days i must have made one friend okay Okay, about this book that I said I'm going to be reading. I said I'm going to be reading at least 10 books. And we have 8 months already. So let's just say that. One and a half book every month. <laughs> Let me just say two, two books every month. So on days that I skip, it's still going to add up. You understand? Two books every month. About that spiritual growth, that one is something I have to be consistent on, you know, every day. So that femininity on too is also something that I have to work on every day. You get me? So yeah, I think that is just all. That's just all. I'm probably going to ah, I don't know. I'm just I don't really know how I'm going to edit this, this video yet. But I'm thinking that I might just like write down the format for you guys in the description. And if uh if I'm able to work on something, I might probably just type out some stuff for you guys to see and maybe download yourself on your phone or your computer to edit and also put in your plans or you can just do it the way i did mine that you know that i wrote mine in a book like this and it's definitely going to work out believe me you have to believe it you know you don't just make these plans for writing sake that's why you have to break them down into months and if you feel like months is too long for you you know you can make you can break it them you can break them down into weeks you understand so you can be able to follow through with them and make sure you always go through these plans that you have written down so that it will become achievable you'll be able to achieve them and all by this we have come to the end of the video and i need to take water that was so refreshing thank you so much for joining me today absolutely amazing if you are yet subscribed to my channel please guys subscribe now and i will see you in my next video bye